Good afternoon from Galaxy Campers in Ontario, California. In sunny California. Today is a little bit rainy, but that's okay. We appreciate the rain whenever it comes around. But anyway, today we're going to take a look at the brand new 2022 Lance 1985 travel trailer. It's got new graphics, it's got a, a new suspension, a new stereo system, all kinds of stuff that, that is new for this model year. And today we're going to have Miguel go over some of the, the cool new features on this travel trailer. Alright, let's go take a look. Hello guys, Miguel from Galaxy Campers. Uh, do a walkthrough on the new 2022-1985 that we just got in. Uh, it's our first 2022 Lance trailer that just showed up. So a couple of different things we have inside that I'm just going to walk through and kind of point out that's different from the 2021 model to the 22. Of course, naturally the colors are different. So you can see this is a new Grayson color. So there's going to be three different colors that you're going to get to choose when you order one or if they have it in stock. This is Grayson, there's going to be Bronzide, and then the Lapis. So really the only thing that's going to change on the color is going to be, the, for example, here the trimming. And then the top here the, of the drawer, the front of the drawer and then the top side of the of the seating area so this seems to be staying the same with the lighter gray all the way around so you can also see the balances up top okay that'll give you the you know whichever color you decide to go with that's going to change a little bit so it's going to be the grace in here and grace in there um, the wood stayed the same color so we have the same the same cabinet colors on the from the 21 you can see around the front and on the side in there, the wood is basically the same color. Uh, we're changing the, Lance changed the countertop. Okay, so we pay attention to a little bit of a different countertop here. Uh, also, of course, with the extended counter, the same. So a different color there. And then this is a big difference here, they're adding this offsetted white here. So to the top cabinet with the radius cabinet up top. So a little change for the 22s there. So now the microwave is offset it inside the cabinet. So you'll just open it and then kind of a cleaner look there because you put away the, the microwave there once you're done. So it also matches the refrigerator with the top paneling there matching all the way across. So a new look for the 22s. So in the front, uh, it's very similar to what they had before with the same cabinets in the front. But one of the biggest things they did here is they made this cabinet a little deeper. So now we're going further in. Uh, one of the changes they did here is they took the battery box and now it's installed underneath the bed. So uh, where the battery box used to be back here, now they're going to give you a little counter here. They made this a little deeper and then they added another drawer. One here and another one there. So a little bit more room. This and the previous models had, because it wasn't so deep, it was a little difficult to hang clothes. You know, so now it's going to make it a little easier for you to stack the clothes there and then hang stuff up there if you like. So, this, this model here, of course, has the convertible sofa. We ordered this on the 1985s. Usually we order this with stock. Most of the customers get the sofa. So if we were going to make the sofa now, we're just going to lift this up. down, bring this over, now you have your couch, okay? Uh, this is an option, so we want to make sure if you order a unit that you are specific about getting it with the couch, so you make sure you order this as an option on the camper, on the trailer, so. There is still some storage underneath the couch. You do, you do lose a little bit converting this into the couch because the bed naturally has a little bit more storage going back but you still get a little bit of storage this is where the the batteries are going to be now so yeah you're going to compromise a little bit on this the storage area but you're going to gain it over here at the top so just that's the change there for the 22s okay so the same type of dinette the, the wraparound dinette horseshoe dinette with the, the new diamond tucked stitching on here with the grayson color uh, the drawers are going to be the same depth as you had before on the 21 and the 20 models you can see the depth of that. Okay, so a lot of storage underneath the dinette. 
Uh, when you're shopping for a trailer, a lot of times when you get the dinette that's wrapped around like this, you're going to gain some storage on the back outside. So that back seating area is always utilized outside for exterior storage. So when you get a, a booth dinette just across each other, you're going to just gain this storage. But then when you get the wraparound dinette, you're always going to gain the exterior storage. So if you're gain, you want to gain a little bit of outside storage, you know, this is a good feature to have because of that back seating area. Yeah, so a new feature they're doing for 22s, or it's not a new feature, but they've changed out the manufacturer. Uh, we'll go, Lance is going to the JBL uh, stereo system now. So you're going to have your stereo now set up right here. And then it also comes with a pretty nice subwoofer down below. And of course your portable uh, Flip 5 uh, JBL portable speaker for the exterior. There's a mount on the underneath the awning where you can mount that and hook up your portable speaker down. So bathroom stayed the same, uh, same amount of storage you had on the older models, the 21s and the 20s. So this hasn't changed. So a lot of space there. So you have wardrobe now, uh, just like before in the restroom, bathroom, and in the front, you just get a little bit more storage on the 22, but same cabinet there. And then the drawers. All right, so 2022, same size refrigerator, six cubic foot refrigerator, two-way refrigerator uh, for the uh, for the trailer here. So you can see the depth of that and the, the size of the refrigerator. The kitchen, stove top, same with the nice glass top that gives you a little bit more counter space. Bring that over, you can prep, prep your food here once you're ready to cook then take the top off or push it back and ready to go. Your oven. Down below the sink, the same amount of storage. The 22s with uh, these trays that pop out, come out. You can always use these on the exterior if you want to barbecue in, put your food in here forever, whatever you want. But nice feature Lance has done for many years. And then easy access to your water pump. Okay, so one of the one of the things here with the water pump is it's located in a good spot where if you ever had an issue with it, maybe uh, or even if you're trying to winterize the unit, it's an easy place to get to it. So a lot of customers will call me and they'll say, "Why is why is this hose not connected?" <laughs> <laughs> this is for winterizing your unit. So if you ever had to winterize it, you just hit the bypass valve pump antifreeze into your water lines and then just make sure everything has has antifreeze built into it or pumped into it so let's take a look at the sink how deep is that sink so take the covers off and then you got a full open sink so a lot more room for bigger pots dishes get your hands in here and, and rinse everything off and you have this extension. And then the extended counter, yeah. So, always trying to maximize the amount of counter space we have in the kitchen. All right. And the switch panels up top. So you have, of course, you, to extend your slide out, in and out. And then we have the on and off button for the awning, the extend and retract. So again, the awning is standard now for 22s. So you're gonna get an awning uh, automatically with it. Uh, then some courtesy light coming in, your awning light on a lit switch here. So if you forget to shut it off and you pull the awning in, then if you're going to bed and uh, light's still on, it'll be lit up 
you can just shut it off there and then that's your patio light uh, new thing they're doing for 22s is going to be your now your ducted AC. So you have in the ceiling, you have a few ducts here, uh, two down by the dinette, one over here by the bedroom up top, and then uh, the last one inside the restroom. Ducted AC. And then they're also they're adjustable, so you can move them around back and forth whichever way you want to turn them. You can close off the vent as well. So if you want to shut off the bathroom one at night and then just get that air to flow towards the bedroom, just bring that over and then get that cooler air flowing this way. All right, so they're using now the new the new door on the on all the models. It used to come on the 2075 and now they're going to go ahead and install this. This door is a pretty solid and nice door. It has a couple of spots so you can store some things in there. Uh, cool, a nice cool feature they have here is the screen, so you just pull it over, close it off, and then you can leave it open. So this is going to come on all the models now for 2022. And your shade up top. Another change they did for the 22s is they added the acrylic windows now. So before in 21 and previous years we had the uh, lands had the glass windows. So now you're getting the same windows you would get on the 2075, the, the 650 model. And it's all coming on the rest of the models as well as the acrylic windows. Before, of course, this front window was the same, the acrylic window where you could open up and then it had your shade at the bottom. And it had your screen at the top but so a lot of more ventilation through the whole unit all the way around you can open up all the windows across uh, the front the side the back and then get a lot of cross ventilation especially if you have a fantastic fan running so these will lift up Miguel are these fantastic fans are, are these standard now on the uh, newer models yeah the fantastic fan is standard there's gonna be a lot of things now that are coming in standard so before we used to order something, there was a big list of, of optional equipment. They've reduced that, so they made a lot of things standard. For example, the fan, um, let's say the stabilizer jacks, the utility receiver off the back. Uh, the height is now going to be a certain height, so the lift kit is auto automatically on there. The height, the microwave is standard now. So those kind of things are going to automatically come with your unit. Uh, things that are still optional are going to be the inverter kits, uh, for example, the solar panels. So you can get it with a single solar panel, dual solar panel, backup camera, slide cover for your slide out. The awning that comes off the side, the big awning that we all expect to be standard, is now standard. Before it was an optional thing, so once in a while you would find a trailer without the, the awning, but now it's just automatically going to come with it. So, so a lot of things are becoming standard. You just want to contact your dealership, make sure that you're getting the equipment that you want on it. All right, so now the, the smart jack here up front, the electric jack, that's standard. You're gonna get it automatically with the 22. The Tri-5 tanks, which is your three five-gallon propane tanks, are gonna go, go on board. Some people, 20-pound bottles. So three 20-pound bottles up front is gonna come automatically with the 22. Same nose front here. This is a new nose cap that they're doing. So this whole piece is now one piece, just like the, what, what was down here below. Now it's up top, you can see the, the curvature in there, kind of the molded in piece, but this is new for 2022. On this side, this side, the storage compartment with the pull-out tray. So a nice sturdy metal tray on this one now. So this is again standard on the 22 models. Little change here, they took the switches that used to be for the stabilizer jacks and they installed them in the inside here where your storage compartment is at. So you're gonna have now just two ja uh, two switches, I'm sorry. One for the front, one for the rear, extend and retract. The stabilizers are also standard now. So electric stabilizers before used to be an option, now they're, they're a standard feature. Your spare tire down below, okay, that also comes standard now. So that's where you access it and where you can crank it down and get to it. Exterior propane connection, you'll see the brass fitting there. 
That's your, your propane connection fitting there. That's for like an external barbecue or something that you wanted to hook up outside that requires propane. And you come with the little fitting that you can hook up to a hose and connect it. This is the revolution step. So this is an option. Uh, we always we always stock this uh, trailer with these steps. These are nice adjustable steps. So when they come in, when you're taking these out, you put them away. But it has a few adjustments. So coming down, you have an adjustment height here, here, and there. And then when you extend it out. You can also adjust the legs here for, for more stability. This is all the same. You got your, your fresh water fill there, 110 power, 12 volt for an external exterior television, and the mount comes with it, it comes inside. Your furnace, the back of the refrigerator, and then this is where that JBL exterior speaker is hooked up to. We can hook it up outside. On the back, you have the backup camera. This is still an option. We want to make sure if you're looking for the backup camera that when you order your trailer or you look up a trailer, you make sure that on the list it shows the backup camera, wireless backup camera. The ladder. And then this is the utility receiver off the back, which again used to be an option, and now for 22, it's going to come with it. So a two inch diameter hitch receiver so you can hook up your bikes or storage pod, whatever you want to put back here, a basket, tie things down. On some of the models, the Truma water heater is an option. Okay, so this is a six gallon water heater, electric and propane, but an instant water heater is now available on some of the models. Not every single model is available, but the Truma Go, Aqua Go, will be available on some of the models. Same here where your outside shower is at, city water hookup and everything. Same storage compartment as before. There's an external, external storage there. Your dumps down below. So your gray valve and then your black valve and then your external dump. This model has the slide cover, which is a slide topper over the top of the slide out. This again is still st um, optional. So we want to make sure that when you're looking for your trailer that you, you know, if you want this feature, you want to make sure that you get that in order with that, that slide cover. <laughs> and then we talked about the dinette in the beginning. And this is that external storage that I was talking about. When you get the wraparound dinette, you get this a little bit more storage on the outside. So this will maximize some storage on the outside when you get the wraparound boot on a, on a trailer. The electrical compartment to store your 110 cord. So this can, you can utilize this for anything else, but this was what it was, the purpose of it was to, to store your, your 110 cord. You just wrap it up, store it in there keep it out of the way and then you're dumped for your fresh water tank so accessible out here you don't have to crawl underneath and try to dump your water and just pull the handle and the water comes out front storage compartment so it's complete completely insulated so we could store a small generator fit in there a strap so you could tie things down so same this compartment was also installed on the 22s and in the 20s um, so it was kept in the same model. And then that's your, that's your wrench to tighten up your wheels. Okay. And you mentioned the uh, battery compartment used to be there. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so if you notice, uh, the battery compartment is now gone. It's not in, on the external side with the tray. Now it's going to be installed underneath the bed. So if you have the, the battery, if you have lithium batteries now, they're not going to be affected by the cold as much because now they're going to be inside the trailer and you can keep the trailer nice and warm. You're not going to get affected by the temperature outside. All right, thank you for your time. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you guys have any more questions, my name is Miguel. You can contact me here at Galaxy Campers uh, by phone, 909-988-4744.
or by email galaxycampers at gmail.com. Thank you.